Hey guys! Okay, I asked my TikTok followers to put some assumptions about me in the comments section. Did not disappoint. I've got 128, so let's try and get through as many as we can and set the record straight, shall we? Let's go. First one, you prefer dogs over cats for pets, and that is 100% true. I'm not the biggest cat person. I've never really warmed to a cat. I've never really been around enough cats to kind of get it. So I would never say I don't like cats. I just haven't been around enough cats or cat people. All my friends have dogs. I don't think anyone has a cat. And if they had a cat, it's never around. Actually, Brittany's got a cat and I've never seen her cat. I could not even tell you what her cat looks like. She's my best friend. It's just like, does its own thing. Um, another person assumed that I am was sporty and always did sports. And yeah, that's true. I loved sports growing up, but full sports. I was never like a cross country runner or anything like that until after school. So throughout school, I played like basketball, netball, softball, all the kind of all sports. So I am quite coordinated, I guess. I'm not a gymnast and I am not a dancer. Definitely not. But yeah, fall sports were my thing in high school and I loved it. And I feel like that's sort of how I made friends and connected with people. And um, yeah, I loved everything about sports back then. Another assumption is that neuro spicy and it's actually not true. I don't feel like I have any of those characteristics, I guess. Never, never sort of gone down that road. I assume you never eat takeaway and your kids are always eating healthy. <laughs> that is a big fat no. We eat things in moderation. We definitely don't eat out a lot because where we live, we don't get Uber Eats or anything like that. The only place that delivers here is a Chinese restaurant and Domino's. We get Domino's maybe once a fortnight. We used to get it quite a lot more, but the kids don't eat it. So there's no point in getting it unless we're like really craving a pizza. My kids, look, I do the best I can with them. They all basically have different meals every night, um, but definitely not how I pictured it. I thought we'd be all sitting at the dinner table eating salads and vegetables and having a great time, but um, it's not like that at all. It's like, get what you can get into them without them knowing as fast as you can. Otherwise, you will miss your opportunity. So no, that's, that's not true. You're finding four kids a bit tough, but you'd love a fifth. Uh, we're not doing number five, and yeah, I'm finding four kids a bit tough. For sure, but it was, it's not meant to be easy, I don't think. The hardest age though is, I think, from one to two and a half. So Billy's just coming out of it now, and Brody's just going into it. He's hard, he's hard work. He's just always go, 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 but then, but dangerous, like climbing on the couch and stuff like that. So no, I would never have another baby. It's tough, but I feel like I'm managing it quite well. You were a cool girl in high school. No, I was not really, I was just, one of the girls. We had a smaller school in high school and everyone was friends. There was not much bullying in my year. Everyone just got along. This is like further down, like in year 11, 10, 11, 12, everyone started to get along and hang out and go out with each other and stuff like that. Cause it was, like I said, a small school. I think we had about 60 people in our class, I think. And yeah, we all just hung out together. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm pretty cool. I think everyone was cool. I don't know. <laughs> you always wanted a big family. I always wanted three. I wanted two girls and a boy, which is because I we I grew up with two girls and a boy, and I just thought that dynamic worked really well. When we had the third girl, we sort of just went, you know what, we could go for another. But yeah, I always want a big family. My husband's one of four, and I'm one of three. So so a few people have um, assumed that we are comfortable financially, um, which is true. We are. We live very comfortably. Um, we're a two income household. We don't have many expenses in regards to like, we don't eat out much. I don't, you know, I don't do much for myself. I do a few cosmetic things, but that's about it. But we're really quite good with our money. Um, my husband doesn't go out. Definitely not like loaded, but um, we're pretty good with our money. So yeah, we're comfortable. Nursing was always what I wanted to do. That's not true. I didn't really get introduced to nursing until like mid-20s. 
actually. I was into childcare and stuff like that and I did massage therapy as well and then I did event management for a while there. It took me a while to work out actually what I wanted to do but I had a few visits into hospital. As I've mentioned before, I'm sober and I had a few like little trips to rehab and that's when I sort of saw the nurses. I was like, that's what I want to do. But this was like mid-20s and I was like, I want to be a nurse because I never really had any experience in hospitals growing up. So I didn't even know really what a nurse did and none of my family is a nurse or anything like that. So um, to be honest, it was not even on my radar until mid twenties. So no, but once it was on my radar, it was, it, I need to do this, I need to do it now and I need to drop everything and become a nurse basically. I assume you're very high energy. <laughs> I am and I'm not, you know, like time and a place for energy. Um, and I definitely can read a room. I love being like outgoing and I love making people laugh and my friends like I'm you know loud and we're laughing and we're boisterous and we're having a good time and I'm with my kids like I'm just like you know I'm showing them a good time but I have yeah I know when to sort of tone it down. I assume that what we see on TikTok is how you are. You seem very down to earth and loving love. Some of these comments are so beautiful, so thank you. It, yeah, what you see on TikTok is what you get. Like, I'm not going to be anyone that I'm not. And the reason I started TikTok was to show you guys the good and the bad and, and to, to make you feel normal. And look, to be honest, I get a lot of hate for stuff that I, do put on like when my kids are on screens I'm I'm gonna show you that because they're on their screens doesn't mean they're on their screens all day do you know what I mean like on TikTok if I post six videos you still have only seen 40 minutes max of my whole day um, and so for someone to assume that like my kids are on their screens all day it's just so not true it's just so bizarre to me that someone thinks that they have seen my whole day and think that they know exactly what we've done for every single second of the day. Um, it's, it's very confident of someone to um, assume that. Anyway, you had a good childhood and a trauma-free upbringing. I definitely did, yeah. Yeah, I feel very blessed and lucky for that. My parents got divorced when I was uh, probably around 10 or 12. I would um, consider that trauma. It was more just like a experience, I guess. And back then it was tough. You just think your parents are gonna be together forever, right? You don't know anything different. But yeah, we look back now and we think, thank God that happened. My mum remarried and my dad remarried a couple times too. <laughs> He's, he needs to be single for the rest of his life. But we, I've got a good relationship with my dad now, so I've learned that that's who he is and that's fine and my mum's happy, so it, we're good. I assume you that you let your kids go on their iPads all day. Wait, that's evident in your vlogs. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Look, they're, they're literally on their iPads now. Right? We just got home from doing drop off and they haven't been on their iPads all day. Actually, we've been in painting. I'll, sh I'll show you the painting out as well, but you know, basically like they're on their own iPads. I'm gonna get my phone and that's when I film a video because they're busy. I'm not gonna film us sitting down doing painting because nobody's gonna watch that. That's not interesting. They have got their iPads out. That's when I film a video. The max videos I would post in a day would be six, I think, six or seven. It's like just if, I've got ideas or if, I, if something funny comes up and like some an idea pops into my head. It literally takes me like 10 seconds sometimes to film videos. And I usually only do it when they're busy. So every other hour of the day, I'm doing stuff with them. I'm just not filming it because we're doing stuff. I'm engaged. I don't have my phone on me. That's generally why you always see them on their screens. Because they're on their screens. I grab my phone and I film a video. It's really not that hard to work out. You don't see my whole day. Go away. Oh yeah, a lot of people have assumed that I'm quite the wild one, or was the wild one before I had kids. 100%.
I don't, I don't even want to kind of get into it. Hundred percent. I'm sober. So my early twenties were wild. Back in the northern beaches, so in Manly, I let my hair down in my twenties. Um, it all came crashing down around 27, 28. That's when I sort of, no, probably about 25. That's when I um, to go on my recovery journey. <laughs> but between the ages of like 20 and 25, it, it was wild. Um, I loved it though, it was great. I had a great time. I had a few friends that I went out with. We went to the Manly Wharf Bar, we went to the Shore Club and all that kind of stuff. And we just absolutely trashed Manly. Um, and we would go out Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night. Sunday, Sunday sessions were my fave. They were the best. Sunday Wolfie were the best. So yes, I was wild. And if anyone knows me from that time, I'm sorry. I assume you're the chaotic, the cool mom look. I'm pretty chaotic, but it's like organized chaos. It's wild when it's wild, but then we have moments like this where it's just like peaceful and fine and just chilling. But then as soon as someone wants something, then someone else wants something, then it, it just, it spirals. Assumption that you're positive and fun. Look, I'm very positive. I always try to see the positive in any situation and try my best to like spread the positivity throughout the family. Um, it's quite a happy household, but like I have my moments. Rain usually gets me if it rains for like more than one day, not in a good headspace. I'm not, and I'll be the first to admit it. Rain makes me sad and unhappy and unmotivated, and it makes me angry at times as well. The weather has a huge impact on my mental state. Would you ever take the crew on up overseas for a holiday? Hell yes, we would love to. We're thinking when Bodhi's about two, I reckon we'll start maybe doing a cruise. I don't know. I've never done a cruise before. My husband's never done a cruise before, but I feel like that could be something that we could manage as four. So we'd definitely be getting into cruises, possibly starting next year. I sort of started looking at prices around Bodhi's birthday. So oh, watch this space. We love Bali as well. My husband and I love Bali. My husband's a surfer. So Bali, Fiji, anywhere he can get a wave. Um, we just, yeah, we chase the sun as well. So wherever we go, it will be hot and there will be sand between our toes. People have assumed that I'm very organized. Um, I don't think that this is true. I'm organized with the day-to-day -day stuff. Like I can get all four of them into the car before nine o'clock, that type of organized. Everyone can be fed, everyone's dressed, everyone's got their hair done, that type of organized. For the long-term organization, I'm not. I don't know when they've got Mufti days on. I don't know when the school holidays start. I have a calendar. It's still sitting on September. We're in November. It hasn't doesn't have anything penciled in in it. Like I, not organized in that aspect. And when it comes to like ads and stuff, I've got a manager, so he deals with that. But I still like screw up the posting days. So no. I'm not organized and I'm a Virgo, so I should be more organized than I am. But day-to-day um, -day stuff and what you guys see, it looks pretty organized, but no, my, yeah, it's not. I need someone to tell me. Actually, I have a mum friend and she lets me know when the school holidays are coming up. Luckily, there's apps now. We've got like a school app and they give reminders like it's Mufti day tomorrow or it's dress up day this day or it's school excursion. like. When a school excursion comes up, I make sure I pay for it and sign the waiver then and there because otherwise I'd just forget. So, no, I'm not. Easygoing, happy, stress-free person. Yes, yeah. There's so much going on in this world. I don't want to cry over spilt milk. I lose my shit too. Okay, I lose it. I swear, I yell, moan, and just like get so angry sometimes. That's normal healthy reactions and I think it's good to, for your kids to see you have those sort of emotions and experiences and and see you work through it and talk about it and this is why I was frustrated like I do all of that the thing about my husband and I though if I'm losing it he'll be the calm one or if he's losing it I'll be the calm one and then we sort of mellow out and then we talk about it and talk about it and then get over it 
and just realize that you know nothing's that serious there's so much going on in this world today so don't stress the hard shit you are very understanding of all your kids differences and needs yeah but it's taken me a little while to get to that point like you, you sort of um, just assume that they're all gonna like the same thing and and be similar but they're all so different so different so you can never say that you know what you're doing because the third child comes and they're completely different to the first and the second yeah that's why I would I would never say that having four is harder than someone who's got two like I would never say that because they're all so different like my four they're pretty good and they all sleep but someone could have two kids over there and they don't sleep and they've got you know other medical issues or something like that you know like you just cannot say that having a certain amount of children is harder than having like the less amount of children because it's just you don't know the situation so i would never um i would never say that they're in a good place at the moment like i said they're all sleep they're all pretty good like if i take them to the shop they all like little ducks and we all just follow each other we do have our meltdowns of course and i'm not a perfect mum by all means i lose my shit and i get mum guilt all of that stuff but i i think in those situations you just have to recognize that you've had that reaction and then just do better tomorrow you know what i mean like with screens for example if one day like today's a shit day so they're probably going to have more screen time than they would if it was sunny so tomorrow if the sun comes out we'll put the screens away and i'll just do better tomorrow you know so i think i'll leave it there bar one comment they're all really nice just one was negative so I really appreciate all you guys so much. Oh, I'll finish with this one. I assume that you're loving your life and also a wonderful nurse. Look, I pride myself on my career. Like I love being a nurse so much. I worked really hard to become a nurse and I love being in the hospital. I love working. I just, it, there's so little for such a short amount of time and me running off in the morning at 6.30 in the morning and missing literally everything. Um, if we're able to do it so I can sort of stay here and then just work every now and again and then keep my registration and then when they're off to school and I need to get a life um, I'll start working a little bit more. Nursing is amazing because you know you can do so many different things like I still got so many different goals when it comes to my nursing career um, which is great to look forward to. I feel like as a mum sometimes me personally I think well, when they grow up like what do I do then? Like, they're not gonna want me. That makes me really sad. But then when I think about my nursing career, it makes me happy to know that I have goals and challenge myself mentally and physically. So yeah, I love nursing. I think I'm a pretty good nurse. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.